Hi, today I am going to show you how to skin and fillet these strange prehistoric looking creatures. These are the red gurnard, also known as sea robins. Crazy thing, absolutely armour plate. And if you have a look, the spines, they've got them on the gill plate, that sloped nose. And these fins, that they're actually legs, these three at the front, they actually crawl along the bottom. And a lot of these were discarded because the price at the market was low. I was speaking to a fisherman earlier in the year, he said they used to be 25p a kilo, they're now 250, they're becoming really popular. You know, you get chefs like Rick Stein, they start cooking these, everybody wants them. Which is a good thing, you know, they're not being chucked away or used as lobster bait. But the trouble with these is getting into them, getting that meat. That tail, it's like a mini monkfish tail. There's just one bone that runs down that, and each side from there is pure meat. So we need to know how to break into that, and I'm gonna show you the method. Okay, so what you need, a decent pair of scissors, and it must be a decent pair of scissors. And what we're gonna do, you can see this line of fins. You start in the tail, and you're cutting, if I can get that on camera, just underneath all of those fins and the spine and you've just run all the way and made a lovely groove down there looks fantastic and with this beauty it's a nice big one so again if I can get that on camera start at the tail that one's come out so you rejoin it and basically go all the way along and that's that one that's the hard part done now we'll show you how to skin it right so I bought my camera in there to show you what we're going to do so basically you take your one gurnard and you push your knife in just to the backbone and all you do is you've gone through the backbone once you've gone through the backbone each side I turn my knife the other way put my hand there to rest it and we're just gently loosening the skin up to the neck so it's only a little bit so once you've loosened the skin all you do is pick it up you've gone through that backbone as you can see there by holding the flesh you pull the skin off and there you have your solid fillet with bone in gurnard turn it over there's not a lot of insides in these See what I mean? Just one cartilage gelatinous bone runs down the middle. The rest is meat. And that's a good meat. High in protein, low in fat. Let me just show you that one more time. So, into the head. Through. Loosen either side. I hope you're getting that on the camera there. So basically you're just loosening that flesh off then open her up firm grip comes off like that quite impressive actually I love doing these so I'll give them a wash up and I'll show you how to fill it on so we're left with our two skinned tails left on the bone you can leave them on the bone, you know, I cook them on the bone, but I'm here to show you how to fillet them. So obviously one bone runs down the middle. All you do is basically follow it down. And it really is simple. You can't go wrong, just keep it close to that bone. And there's your fillets. You can do it this way. Put it down, keep it horizontal. Through them rib bones at the end. There's another fillet. So I'll show you one more time. That bone. There's your fillet. Solid meat. Real meaty flesh as well. This is a great fish to cook. Very underrated, but as I say, really grown in popularity. I mean, these, I bought these. These were five pound a kilo. 
So, you know, they've come a long way in the last 15 years. And that is how to skin and fillet your red gurnard. So there you go. That's what you're left with. These four lovely fillets. I hope you find that helpful. Thanks for watching.